Good evening. So what did, what did you make of the team's performance tonight and, and the challenge that City provided? Look, we played against the... I think uh, one of the, the best team in the world. Uh, we try to play with our DNA, with our characteristic, respecting our, uh, our um, qualities. Uh, we concede the first, the second, the third, and the fourth goal. All goals in a in a bad way. We we made uh, mistakes, uh, but we have to accept the mistakes because uh, uh, because uh, for uh, for Valentin Barco it was the the first game uh, in Premier League, and he was the best player on the pitch for us, but he made mistake in in both goals, in third and, and fourth. Uh, Carlos Baleba as well, he suffered too much the game, the competition, uh, but we are working for the future of the club. Uh, we have a lot of uh, young players uh, uh, and we have to accept. Logically, we are disappointed for the result. The result. I'm disappointed for the result. I'm frustrated because we can't uh, compete against the big teams in Premier League in this moment, and we have to be honest. Uh, and can, can I ask you, with with those young players, you'll never tell them to stop playing, to try, to stop taking risks, to stop playing out from the back. That's still what you want to see from them. I giocatori giovani comunque gli chiedi sempre di giocare la palla anche in costruzione bassa e quello che continui a chiedere a loro. If we are one player more, yes. If we are man to man, no. Roberto, um, you mentioned there about Barco. Despite those errors, he showed a lot of personality, didn't he? To, in the way he, he played despite making those mistakes. A parte gli errori che ha fatto Barco ha mostrato grande personalità? Yes. I'm, I'm happy, f I'm delighted for his performance. Uh, Odell, Ofia, Ofia, Ofia O'Mahony as well. And Barco is a, an important player. Uh, normally he he can he can't he can't be uh, ready no because uh, it was the first game the second game but he played five minutes in at Anfield but uh, I'm happy for for him Roberto hi you mentioned that you're um, frustrated because you feel you can't compete against the big teams is that just because the gap is too big between yourselves and the likes of City Hai detto che sei frustrato perché c'è il gap tra te e le grandi squadre e un gap troppo grande tra te e il City. Yes. My friend, what do you think? You... Yes. And also, do you think you've, you feel like you should have had a penalty today? No. I have a, too many problems and I have no time to think the, the referee mistakes. I don't know. I don't want to to watch the the situation. We didn't lose for the referee responsibilities and uh, we lose time if we speak about it. Yeah, we have to speak about the, the improvement we, we have to do. Uh, what we can do to play better, what we can do to to recover the the injuries players. Uh, uh, we can speak about the the next game we have to prepare and to finish in the right way this season because this season has been 
very tough. Ciao Roberto. Um, Europe is still technically possible. Uh, do you think reaching Europe will change the way you view this season? L'Europa è, è ancora possibile tecnicamente. Pensi che raggiungere l'Europa cambierebbe il modo in cui vedi questa stagione? No. No, because I think we are doing uh, better than last season. And, uh, and I can't change my, my idea about, uh, about that. And then we can speak last season, we were uh, fifth on the table. Uh, this is, yes, but you can say what you want, but we, we have to analyze uh, the players, the level of the players, the, the experience of the players, how many players we lost. Uh, Uh, in transfer market, how many players, injuries players we, we, we have and we have had. And um, so, so many problems is a part of the, 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 this club and we have to accept. If you ask me about the result, I'm disappointed about the, the last result. I'm disappointed, really disappointed, but uh, if you ask me if I, if I am positive for the future, yes, yes, because we are working for, for our club. I would like to compete every game like uh, last season and the first part of this season, but at the beginning of the season, the first five games, four win and one defeat against uh, West Ham shooting 25 times per uh, in a game. Roberto, um, it's a tough, tough game to take and you've got a quick turnaround. You're playing um, against Bournemouth on Sunday. How do you motivate your players and get them positive and you've got that positive attitude, get them ready for the next game? Yes, but I, I want to... to i want to understand that but Brighton can lose the game against City or not. Sorry. I, I have not to explain nothing to the players. I think they gave their best in terms of attitude, behavior. They were good, I think. I, I have to say nothing. Uh, we have to, to improve from this game because the improvement, uh, you can improve uh, losing. Uh, and then we, we, we move on and we, we, we think uh, we change our focus on the, the, the last five games. Yeah, and one final one. In terms of the younger players, I know that, um, you know, a few mistakes, but that's, you know, that's normal. How impressed are you with the confidence that your side is still putting out every single game? Yes, I, 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 the, the two questions the, the men asked me if I ask always to play in build up. Uh, I want to explain, uh, I think. Uh, What is my idea no? Last season we reached the Europe League showing an incredible courage, incredible, incredible mentality, incredible uh, braveness, no? We won 3-0 uh, in uh, against uh, Arsenal away and we we defended man to man 90 minutes. And I think the secret to qualify in Europe League was the, the courage we showed, the, the, the attitude we showed. If you work with a lot of young players, you can defend against the city in the last 20 meters, yes, but you can lose anyway. Or you work in a mentality, you work in the style, the DNA of Brighton, And you, you take uh, some risk more because the fourth goal 
Valentin Barco forgot uh, Walker in the third goal in build up two mistakes the first one of uh, Carlos Baleba because he worked bad with the body shape because with the control we we went out for that situation and uh, Valentin Barco as well I think we have to analyze in the long time not in this game and we can't forget what we did and we can't forget uh, what we want to, to go in the future. I think with uh, Valentin Barco, with Baleba, with Joao Pedro, with uh, Adingra as well, I think playing uh, and working with uh, this attitude, with this uh, braveness in the future with me, without me, I don't know. But anyway, it will be the crucial part of Brighton. But it's my idea. But I know you're very, very ambitious, but it's been looking back, if you finish it well, maybe top 10, will you be proud? Because this is a different season for Brighton, Europa League. It's been so different, but great overall. Will you, will you be happy if you finish in top 10? Saresti felice comunque di finire nella top 10, nonostante quest'anno hai giocato l'Europa, nonostante sappia che tu sei una persona molto ambiziosa. No, I'm happy if I, if I know I'm giving my best. I would like to compete for the top of the table, not the, the Europe League uh, target uh, or the Champions League target. But uh, first of all, I have to accept the, the situation and uh, I want to go to sleep uh, um, with my... Animal soul. No, con la... Uh, a uh, coscienza posto with the, with the soul which is fine and I know I'm working harder than last season so I'm I'm happy Hi Roberto um, Ansu Fati was a, an unused substitute today he, he was such an impressive signing when, when Brighton got him but it just hasn't, hasn't seemed to have worked out why is that and would you like more time to work with him to help him fulfill his potential here? Yes, Ansu Fati. Ansu Fati is a big, big talent. Mm, I don't know. I, I, I have to speak with Tony, with the sport director, with the, the, the scout, the recruitment, and then, uh, and then we will speak with uh, Ansu Fati. Thank you. Cheers.